Okay, everybody, in this video, I'm going to continue with our Excel Module 4 series. This will be the SAM Project B. We've done A, now we're going to do B, and you'll find that B is very, very similar to A, just a few little minor changes. So I'm opening up the 4B file, and I'm going to save it as the correct extension. which is, has a two after it. And of course, since I've done it before, it's going to ask to replace it. So I'm now in the project steps. It says Grace Lee is the manager of a communication center in Oakland, California. She's been tracking the center's revenue and expenses in Excel, which includes charts to help her visualize the data. And because you're so good, she's asking you to help her format the charts. So we're going to go to the annual expenses. And the very first item is format the chart title as follows. So we're going to add a border to the chart using brown accent six. So here is the border. Uh, there's the chart title. So I'm going to right click on it. And there's different ways to do this. So let's right click on it and choose format chart title. And you can see we have a border here. So what we want to do is I'm going to put in solid line here as the border. And then we want the 10th column, first row. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this should be the 10th row. And let's make sure that we have a border. Okay. Always make sure that you have a border first. So we're good. The next thing we're going to do is apply offset bottom right shadow effect so we're already in here so let's go to the shadows which we can see and our presets are right here and the offset bottom right is the first column first row so that looks nice let's click and see how we look that looks pretty good all right so remove make chart values easier to interpret as follows this is number two. We're going to remove the primary vertical grid lines and add primary horizontal. Make sure that you're using major and not minor because there obviously is a difference. So here's our grid lines. And you can see we have the major vertical checks. So let's get rid of them and let's add major. If you're not getting what it looks to be correct, Make sure you don't have minor changed. And so take care of that and just do the major and you should be good. So you can see we now have that there. And number three is we're going to add a primary horizontal access to the chart. So here's our access titles. And we'll add a primary horizontal. And we want to change the font to Cabri Light, we want to change the text to 20, 21 quarters, and we want to change the font to 16. So the easiest way that I found to select the title is just, just to click anywhere inside of it, usually between the first and second letters, the best, and hit Control A. That's a lot easier than trying to drag everything. So now we're going to right click and we're going to choose font. We're going to change it to, of course, I did not uh, rename it yet, so we'll do that next. Let's go to Cabrera Light. And 16. Then we'll change it to 20, 21 quarters. And let's make it a capital Q. So that should take care of number three. Number four is we're going to go to the quarterly profit, which is right here. And we have a 2D pie worksheet that shows how the profit is contributed to the total profit of the year. So we're going to apply style eight. There's different ways to do it. You could actually click over here and get a chart style, but it's a lot easier if you use the chart styles up top 
and I believe this is number eight. So that puts on the percentages. If you click over here, it's kind of a little bit challenging to see which is which. So I prefer the other one. All right, so we've done that now. And we want to move the chart legend to the left. So we click on the chart elements and here's our legend and we just move it to the left. Okay, Grace can see that quarter two is the most profitable at 29%. So we want to explode it. Now, the easiest way I found to explode an individual element or piece of the pie is to click somewhere else and then click in it. So we only want to get this one here. If you just click in it in the beginning, it's going to select everything. So we can go over here and if i can get this rid of this and we'll go to shadow and i don't think i have anything clicked so see so notice what i'm talking about how everything is selected in here so now we have just this element selected we're going to go to shadow and our presets we want Let's see. Uh, maybe reading the wrong one. Let's see. Chart legend to left. Grace can move 29%. Oh, we want to explode in there. Okay. So I'm reading ahead. So let's format the data point and we're going to explode it at 10%. So you can see only this one moved. Okay, that's number six. Number seven, go to the new services worksheet. And we have a cluster column chart in here. Revenue changed over four years. So we want to resize and reposition the chart. So it's an H3 to N17. So here is H3. And N17. And it's best to be just a little inside the lines. Okay, that takes care of that. So now it tells us to identify the purpose by changing the chart title to quarterly revenue. and change the chart colors to monochrome palette two. So here's our chart colors, monochrome, and this is palette two. And probably good time to save the worksheet now. We wanna change the fill color of the data series representing the security plan to dark red. Well, here's a little way, how do you identify it? Well, one, two, three, one, two, three. So click in the second one, or you can check by colors. And then what we want to do is we want to change the fill color. So we already have it selected in here. Or you can right click and choose format data series. And here's our fill. So we want to change our, the color to lighter 40%. Okay, that's the sixth column, fourth row. Apply the accounting number format. So we will have the accounting number format over here. And let's see if we're doing a total as well. To B5 to F7. B5, just checking the range. And we're going to choose accounting here. Don't choose this because it will decide for you automatically. So let's go back to the accounting again. And we're going to make it to, all right, let's do it from here. And let's change it to two. So you can see how everything changed in the legend as well. 
Uh, she wants to, Grace wants to create a chart that tracks the changes, the profits amount. So we're going to create a line markers chart based on B20 to E21. So here's B20 to E21. Don't do the totals. So we're going to insert chart. Now you can click on line if you want. I'm really more of a full service one and I'll go to all charts and line. And that way I can just easily see which is which. So here's a line with markers of what they want. Then it says resize it. So the chart, so it's upper left is H19 and 32. So here's H19 to N32. And that looks pretty good. And that is everything. I'm going to save it. So I'm going to take a quick check at what we look like. And everything looks pretty good. So I will bring this over to you. And you can see this is pretty much what we're looking like. So that looks good. And we have the other ones here. That looks good. And this looks good. So that's it for this video. Have a wonderful day.